we here this time? We're here. I still hear the countdown. Oh, it's oh that still was on. very weird. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. There's a repeat going on. I don't hear it. Am I playing it somewhere? Sounds good here. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. Hi, Cindy. All right, let me go out and come back in. Everything's okay with you? We're good. I'm good. I think I'm good. We're live. <laughs> we thought we were live a second ago. We introduced ourselves and said hello, and then we realized we weren't live. Hi, Dolores. How's everyone? It's freezing here. You can hear us? Good. Good, good, good. Have my angel all traced out. Aggie and I were just talking. I think we're going to do completely different, different colors. Hi, Lisa. I'm glad you can hear us. Thanks for joining us. So um, while Aggie is out and coming back in, cold and windy, it got up to like 40 here. We still have snow on the ground. So um, I actually went out to the chicken house without a coat today, but it's it's cold downstairs. I was working. Um, in the, the laser lab earlier and my feet were freezing. But um, if you haven't grabbed this tracer, please be sure that you go do it. I know that we were um, talking earlier in Aggie's live when she was tracing out this beauty um, that these tracers are only going to be available for a short period of time. For right now, we're still offering them for the full week, but um, very soon we're going to scale that back to just offering them for a day because it really does it takes a lot of time to put the tracers together and put them on the website so we want to give them but but we you know we want to not offer them for ever so make sure you head over to the website www.thepaintersjourney.com grab your angel tracer hello aggie's here do you still hear it no, I, I, I don't know how I did that, but it was playing it was playing our live from the previous minute and I was hearing that at the wow. same time. I'm like, I don't know how I did that. But serious, anyway, technical, everybody... <laughs> serious technical difficulties. Yeah. And it was all my fault. So but I went out and came back in. Hello, hello, I'm Aggie with the painter's journey. And this is Shelly with the Painter's Journey. And we're going to, oh, we got everybody here. We got Cindy, we got Dolores, we got Lisa. Hello, hello. Everybody wants to hang out and paint an angel tonight. Yeah, isn't it sweet? Isn't it cute? Can you see her? It's hard to see her. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, did, did you just do her in pencil? I penciled in her eyelashes a little bit heavy. But yeah, I think I want to do her like in red and green. So she's not going to look like a white angel. Oh, I can really see yours. Did you do yours with the marker? Yeah, so I did mine with the this the gray um, yeah. pens that you sent me, the Windsor. Good idea. Yeah. I'm going to go get mine. I might need that because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my lines. I love them. I did take out, uh, and I, I watched you... I watched you tracing years earlier. I took out some of the little flower embellishments. I thought for an hour live, it might be difficult to do that. Put all that in, yeah. For detail stuff, so I took that out. Yeah, 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 of course. So we're contemplating colors. Yeah. Um, okay, well, the wings, the wings kind of have to be white. Um, I think <laughs> the wings have to be, maybe I'll start with the wings. So I'm so, going to do, I think I'm going to, I think it could change. Cause I don't, you know, I'm just kind of winging it here, but huh. uh, oh. uh, I'm just winging it. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to do mine in blues and yellows. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it could it could completely change as we go forward oh, here. I guess I have to turn my camera. So I have to stand up and do this whole thing. Don't Pun look. Intended. Huh? Don't look. It's going to be a mess. 
I'm going to turn mine to. I had it this, I did this weird way of putting it inside here and doing all this. And that seems to work. I had it really in there really nice. Oh, yeah, I think it's work. It's basically hanging from my canvas holder thingamajigger. <laughs> She's still there? I'm here. I don't hear Shelly at all. I was being quiet listening to you. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. All right, so I think I'm going to start with her wings. All right. I'll... You know what? Do you feel tight, like with a little drawing? Like at least this is a little bit bigger than we've been doing. But I tend to kind of tighten up. I wish I had more space for being on camera. And I don't want to be tight with this one, but I know I'm going to wind up being tight with it. I had fun last week when, when we got loose. I got loose with the turkeys. That sounds funny. <laughs> Get loose with the turkeys. You always say that. You always say that you you like it when you don't have a sketch. I kind of like I kind of like having the sketch. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna start with her wings. Being like a really pale bluish grayish color. Okay, so I haven't painted on this paper before. So oh, you're gonna love it. I think you're gonna like it. So we'll see. If I if I don't love it, I feel like I'm gonna disappoint Aki. <laughs> oh no. You wouldn't disappoint me. It is quite different. Yeah. You wouldn't disappoint me. So right away I can see that it it doesn't doesn't soak up the water quite as quickly. Which isn't isn't terrible, but it's diff it is a lot different if you've spent time painting on on the other on yeah something else yeah so i have um i think i did some peacock blue and um cerulean blue for this mixture and my brush was a little bit a little bit dirty which I kind of like because it's giving me some of that grayish look yeah I know it's it's like no need to clean your palette Probably you can get some really pretty colors from a dirty palette. <laughs> well, we talk about that. Um, I find that a lot, even in in acrylic painting. I don't rinse my brush a whole lot because I kind of like the, you know, just what the dirty brush can do. Even the even the water, I don't really clean my water a lot there are there are sometimes there are certain things that you do where you want a pure color but some of that some of the the dirty you know we don't have to be too too careful or precious with with what we're doing now my worry is that my brush will get cleaned out as I paint and, and I won't have it over here on this side. So let's see. 
Maybe I'll just add it back in a little bit of the Payne's gray just to just to gray it a little bit. Hi, Linda. Cindy, do you have watercolors? I know that you you did some watercolor at the at the retreat, right? I think Cindy has watercolors. Aggie and I were talking the other day about maybe doing a a live just um maybe kind of talking about trying to pare it down to maybe five colors that people could get if they were you know really wanting just a yeah just a real limited palette just kind of a help if if people wanted to get started with just a few Yeah, well, like there's this Windsor Newton set, or no, it's not Windsor Newton. Let me grab it. And that David Smith, what what is it? Well, I mean, these are just primaries. It's a Daniel Smith set. Daniel Smith, yeah. And this has watercolor ground with it, and I it it looks like it's got ultramarine blue. Um, Thalo blue, scarlet red, pinky red, and two yellows, a warm and a cool yellow. That's pretty you know, nice. So it's yeah. just, it's the primaries, red, yellow, and blue. So this My, is not a bad set. It's called Essential Watercolor Mixing Set. My ground that I ordered didn't come in yet. <gasps> I ordered it last week. Every now and then Amazon does that. Disappoints you? Yeah. <laughs> Cindy says she has a small set that Elizabeth gave her. She doesn't know the brand. That's good though. Still you get to you get to play with it. Who said that? Cindy was saying she has the oh. small Boy. Probably Jeff is going to come home and Higgins is going to come down and clear off my table like he did last week when it was just you and I chatting. Hi, Teresa. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, he knocked some stuff over, right? Yeah. Like I had um, my. Um, largemouth bass cutting board and um, a chickadee painting. He kind of just knocked everything off. Yeah, I didn't get to see yours on the retreat, Cindy, but I thought that I knew that you were painting on the retreat. I didn't know if you were using your own, Cindy, or if you were. Hi, Teresa. Reaching in to somebody else's too. We were sharing some colors over on the other table between us. This peacock blue is such a fun color. It's definitely not a color that everyone would need to have in a basic set, but it's sure fun. It's really bright, isn't it? Yeah, it's sure fun to get some of the other colors. It's kind of like a little collection that you get to build.
Yeah, Cindy says hers has the basic colors. I kind of, it is fun to get a, a few um, extra colors, but I, I do really believe in the limited palette too. It just, it's so, I don't know. I just find it much easier to manage when you're not trying to, um, you know, go between lots and lots of different colors. Hi, Connie. So is this a crazy week or what? I don't know. I feel like I was in a time warp or something. <laughs> That's a little bit of a crazy week. I, yeah, I just had some orders for the laser that I wanted to catch up with and trying to, um, Get ready for the let it snow class that's coming up. So I was working on the tracers for that today. Oh, exciting. Exciting. You know, um, they asked for, um, the other class that we're doing, they asked for them the the snow or no the Santa. What is he again? The Santa. Um, oh, the Santa gnome. No, I couldn't. I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> the Santa gnome in an ornament tracer. Oh. So, I did that, and on Pinterest now I need to bring it into InDesign and. Make it into a thing. Into a thing. Into a <laughs> an eight and a half by eleven tracer. I gotcha. You do that in InDesign, yeah. <laughs> you know, a thing. Yeah, the thing. The thing. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what about it. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be red and green. I should have let my wings dry a little bit more before going to this part of the skirt, but I'm going to roll with it. I don't want the this blue of the skirt to bleed too much into this blue. So as you're painting with the watercolors, you're really trying to manage what what parts are sort of dry. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you have to really plan all that out. Yeah. I didn't do a great job of planning, but I have a Christmas song in my head that's from a Christmas movie that we were watching over the weekend. Which one? I think it's called Trading Christmas. Huh, okay. Did anybody know that one? Mm, no, there's so many Christmas movies now. I love that one. It's basically about... Um, two ladies that house swap during Christmas. And of course, as all Christmas movies are, it gets sappy because they both find <laughs> love while they're at the, <laughs> the traded house. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course they do. I think she has to have red slippers. Uh, 
You've seen that one, Cindy? Yeah, I like that one. My husband's kind of starting to get into some of those. He loves holiday and handcuffs. It was it was a um, Hallmark originally. Um, holiday and handcuffs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look it up. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> Haven't heard of that one. It's not what you think. <laughs> 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 all right i need yeah. a nice dark green cindy have you seen holiday in handcuffs what's another one christmas lodge is a thomas kincaid ish one it's really fun too i like that one and there's Bring another the thomas kincaid one um it was his, I don't know, his production company, I think, I don't know, produced it or something. Oh, years ago. The artist? Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's because, you know, he always did the, you know, those lodge kind of cabiny paintings. Yeah. I don't know if that's why, but it's a good You know one. the story of, of him, like towards the end of his life? No, okay, no, I don't. But you you told me a sad story about um, Robert, Bob Ross. And so. Oh, that was really sad, yeah. Don't break my heart. Even oh, though, about Thomas Kincaid? Yeah, I don't know. Would it break story. your heart if I told you? something bad about him i don't maybe oh what is it now you have to you don't want to know then <laughs> he just he, well i mean he just really he had an affair and Aww. he got he got addicted to, to drugs he just everything went to to pot <laughs> wow yeah i did not know that yeah well you could probably i mean sure, i don't know the details yeah. but you could probably google it and find out I don't know why that happened to him, but I mean, talk about a successful artist, you know? Oh, yeah. They were Thomas Kincaid galleries across the country. I always loved Thomas Kincaid. I remember. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. One year, my dad gave me a, um, a Thomas Kincaid print that I've always loved. I've got a couple of them. Cool. There's another Christmas movie that I really like. It's about, it's kind of on that same um, trading Christmas. Um, idea. I, I'm picturing twins. Wasn't that like a twins movie? I don't know. But this one is with um, Cameron Diaz and um, Jack Black and... Oh, I think I saw that one, yeah. Kate Winslet. Yeah, that's a real good one. Yeah, I love that one. Well, this looks like leaves now, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, he was the painter of light. That Thomas Kincaid was the painter of light. He was amazing at capturing... Um, glowing lights from windows of buildings and even like um across the water or he did a lot of um like um you know street scenes where the yeah a lot of the street scenes yeah very picturesque perfection per perfect looking villages yeah. and things yeah i can't remember where i went to one of his 
galleries with my with my stepdad and I just fell absolutely in love with I mean they just the paintings just give you such a serene yeah feel. <clears throat> And then that Christmas, or one very soon after that, my stepfather was, um, he loved Christmas, but he was, he was amazing. And like, just a little kid really with um, <laughs> being very excited about surprising people. So Christmas was over, and all the presents were opened. And my dad said, wait a second, we're missing something. And whenever he said that, everybody kind of sat up because, you, you know, you never know. Is it, is it mine <laughs> that we're missing? And so he pulled out this great big present from behind the couch and handed it to me. And it was, it was, a, um, it was a Thomas Kincaid print. Wow. And he probably spent a lot of money on it. Very, very, very fun. I treasure it still. Do you have it up somewhere? I do. It's in my dining room. Oh. So now I'm a little bit afraid because now I'm going to start to add in some, some yellow. And, <laughs> and things could go great or not so much. <laughs> Oh, I hear Higgins having his dinner. Jeff must have fed him. What do you guys think about yellow on her? Yay or nay? She's gonna have to have some blonde hair, so she's gotta have that going on. Um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it might look a little. I know it's gonna be too cartoonish or or too. I know football team-ish or something. <laughs> That's my worry. It's going to look like she's from the Rams. Isn't, aren't the Rams yellow and blue? I don't know. I'm not sure either. If I'm, if I'm wrong, someone can, can correct me. Okay. I need a skin tone now. Actually, I have a pretty, oops, <laughs> kind of have a skin tone, but Oh, hi, Connie. I didn't even see you. Connie was here. I didn't mean to put green on that. And, and she says, I love it, but I'm the chick with the yellow kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I <literally> said that. <laughs> I need to see your yellow and blue kitchen. I, that sounds, I know. That sounds amazing. And we've never seen your yellow kitchen. Is it yellow and blue? Oh, it is yellow. She does say it's yellow and blue. Okay, I need a smaller brush. <laughs> Don't start yawning. I'm sorry. You know how contagious that is. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Please. How am I supposed to keep working here while you're over there yawning? Right? <laughs> Oh, well, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit pinkish. So what did you use for the skin tone? Me? Yeah. Well, I've got a couple of weird colors. I don't think you have this. Yuan, I think is the name of it. I don't even know how to say it. 
J U A N E. Yeah, I don't have that one. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> I got it because David Becker uh, had it on his palette. Well, and if David has it on his, you know it's got to be good. <laughs> I was so upset because I could have gone and seen him at a, at a local event, but it was the day I had my event going on with the, the you know, at the, uh, the, that I was selling stuff at that. Oh, event. Yeah. Would have been so nice to have gone and seen him. I'm sure one of these days I'll, I'll catch up with him somewhere. I mean, he doesn't live all that far from me. I think the yellow looks kind of okay on her. She didn't get too football-ish. Uh, yeah, especially if you, that's your lightest tone. So if you start maybe making it more gold. So I have, I don't know if you can see. So these are little um, Luminart watercolors. They're metallic. Oh, nice. That'll look really good. So this color is solar gold. And I tried it on a scrap piece of paper. I really liked how it looked. So I might put a little bit of that on her. Hi, Higgins. Did you have dinner? Higgy! Is dad home? Huh? Is dad home? Oh, did you have supper? That's a good boy. Getting Higgy with it. He's, he he commands attention. He's like over here bumping into my back. Like, hey, did you forget about me? Does he come by you after he eats? Like to say, Mom, I ate. All the, all the time. That's what he's doing. Isn't that funny how they do that? Mom, you should be so proud of me. I ate my all my dinner. So funny because <laughs> we're, always, we're always doing that with him. We're always... Commending him for eating. <laughs> it's like, look what a good boy I am. So for this yellow, I've kind of been just mixing all the yellows that I have, <laughs> which is <laughs> maybe bad, but it's working. Um, <laughs> so... I have the Naples yellow, the Cad yellow light, and the yellow ochre. And I did put just a tiny bit of the blue in it just to, I don't want to make it green, but, you know, just to not have it be too football yellow. Because Aggie scared me. Sorry. <laughs> It was supposed to just be a, well, that's what I pictured in my mind and I just kind of blurted it out. Should I not have said that? No, yes, you should. Absolutely. That's why I asked. I was like, that's what I pictured. I don't know. I was picturing it too. I was glad you said something because I that's exa that was exactly my worry. Because yellow and blue are the classic colors, right, of a, of a football team. It is. I mean, yeah, Cindy says, Wilson wants me to tell you that the name of that movie is The Holiday. Yes, Wilson. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. Wilson, why isn't Wilson in here? I miss Wilson. Cindy, tell Wilson I said thank you. How did Will, how did how did Wilson know we were talking about that? Did you tell her? So Cindy must have, they must be must chatting. Have asked her, right? <laughs> They're chatting. I bet you Wilson is working on um on stuff she has for a her. Big, yeah, she has a big show coming up, right? Yeah, I bet you that's what she's doing. Well, I don't know why her show is more important than coming in to see us. I know. What are we, chopped liver? <laughs> well, she can't figure out how to chat? You can't. Do you have to... Cindy's oh, on YouTube? Oh, she's watching. And oh, she's watching, but she's she's not typing. We're just teasing you, Wilson. Just a joke. Hi, Wilson. Mm. 
Oh gosh, can I make this tiny little mouth on here? Ay, ay, ay. I'm a little bit afraid of my skin tone. I don't have Aggie's fancy color. Yuan. Love that. You want some Yuan? I do. Can you send some over? How quickly can you get it here? So I'm going to make, I actually kind of started a little pile before we came live. So this is. This doesn't sound good. I know. I know. A little orange, a little naphthol red, a little raw sienna, a little burnt umber, some yellow. I do have the Chinese white on my palette, so there's some of that in here. And a tiny bit of blue, again, to just tone it down a little bit. So it's kind of like everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, she said it in letter chat. Was it? <laughs> Cindy said that that Wilson says that it won't let her chat, but maybe she's chatted too much today. <laughs> <laughs> You've reached your chat limit. Your phonometer is full. No more fun for you. No chat for you. <laughs> like Seinfeld, right? That's funny. I don't know. I've chatted. I guess I didn't chat too. I didn't chat as much today as what day was it? That was it Saturday? In the group, man, everybody was busy and crazy. I loved it. It was perfect. I don't know how you do it all all day. It was lovely. Ugh. Everybody was busy. I don't know. The last week has had is just a blur to me. I think it was Saturday because it was snowing and we were. Oh, kind of I was. Oh, I was chatting too, wasn't I? Okay. I think so. My husband said something to me, and I completely just didn't hear anything that he said. <laughs> <laughs> and later, he. So he. I don't know. He must have sat there for a while. He was like, "Never mind. I can see that there's lots of stuff going on." I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well that's a nicer that's nicer than what my husband would say he'll tell you that right now <laughs> he was nice about it I can't remember what all was there was something I was trying to figure out Dolores says she's been crazy busy and needs to get caught up on the chats. Well, you don't have to catch up on the chats. Just come in and chat whenever you have time. I don't think there's been anything too, too pressing, just fun stuff. Well, this angel was designed for doing glass and resin. These were supposed to be like, these circles were supposed to be like maybe some kind of gems or something. In case you're wondering why her hair looks like this. <laughs> I like her ringlets of hair. And I'm, I'm hoping that somebody will do her in glass and resin, you know. We might still get her in a wood cut out at some point. I hope so, actually. I think she'd be really pretty. <laughs> My bad perm. <laughs> What's that? 
<laughs> Dolores said she has a bad perm. <laughs> Dolores, have you ever had a bad perm? Oh, there's nothing worse than a bad perm. Oh my goodness. My mother was a hairdresser. So from the time that I was ever, you know, getting my hair done, my mother was my hair person. And she gave me the absolute worst perm. You know, because back in <laughs> back in those days, you know, the, the perm was the thing. Ugh. Everybody had perms. Yeah. And it was You so didn't need a perm though with your hair? You saw how straight my hair is. Yeah, but you have so much hair. I do have so much hair. Yes, fried fizz, exactly. That's exactly right, Liz. <laughs> Dolores's mother <laughs> wasn't a hairdresser, but thought she was. I think everybody's mom thought they were. Oh my gosh, it was so curly. And so I woke up crying, <laughs> you know, what have you done to my hair, mom? Um, you know, so then, then you do the, the conditioner and um, saran wrap, you know, kind of trying to relax it. It was awful. It was really bad. I went back and had it straightened when I had a perm once. So I really fried my hair. I didn't even know straightening was a thing. Yeah, I, I said I can't stand this. You gotta you gotta put it back. <laughs> <laughs> straightened it. Can you believe it? Oh yeah, I didn't even know that was possible. I used to iron my hair on an ironing board to straighten it. My oh hair my was so curly. I didn't like it. See, and you're the opposite, right? Yeah. My hair was so it is still is so straight. And it's it's hilarious to me because my daughter straightens her hair still and I'm like I would give anything to have just the little bit of curl and body that she has Cindy said her mother used to do it every year right before school pictures <laughs> oh god <laughs> I can't imagine what could go wrong sure mom let's do my hair right before school pictures <laughs> the best. thanks uh, no Oh man. And you know, in those days you're like how your hair looked was your whole identity. So. Yeah. I think it's still that way. Your hair really, really impacts how you look. It really does. It really is our crowning glory. Generally, I don't care too much. What's that? Generally, I don't worry. Too. I mean, eh. I just, I kind of. Well, you'd notice it if you didn't have it or if, or if oh, it were sure. messed up. You'd, you'd, yeah, you know, exactly. it would, it would definitely, you know, it would, it would affect my outlook on things for sure. Dolores said hers was so bad one time that our neighbor didn't recognize her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Liz said we ironed our hair and also used the large empty veggie cans to straighten it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. I didn't I've never used the veggie cans. <laughs> <laughs> My stepmother would um brush my hair, you know, and I've always had a lot of hair and I cried one morning. And so she said, that's it. And just march down to get my hair cut and like short, short, short. Oh, no. Yeah. So when you have very thick, very straight hair and you cut oh, it short. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. So it just was like, I mean, I look like a boy basically. Mm. Wow. Uh, aren't you glad that's all behind us now? No. We now I have, need to go back. I have a hair appointment on Monday. Now I'm all worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> After all of our, our nightmare hair talks. <laughs> 
That's funny. So how much snow did you get, Aggie, in this last little? Oh, we didn't get that much. It was, I don't, I don't really know officially what it was, but it looks like there's maybe two or three inches. Wow. What did you, what did you get? I think our official total was um, a little over seven. Holy cow. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, it was a lot. Wow. It was fun. <laughs> like we never get, we never get that much snow. I loved it. Well, yeah, I loved it. Other than it. It. And what? Did you go out and play in it? Higgins was like over the moon about it. But yeah. other than worrying about my daughter getting to the hospital to have a baby, I was right. I was thrilled about it. And what a trooper, my goodness. That was a big baby. Holy cow. That was kind of a little baby. Almost nine pounds, right? She was nine pounds, four ounces when she was born. Oh, my goodness. My son was nine pounds, 12 ounces, and he was induced two weeks early. So. Wow. You guys have big babies. We have big babies. Gosh. That's cray cray. Yeah, Cindy says, wow. I mean that that's a big baby. <laughs> I think I think by most people's standards. <laughs> you know, I had um and you're a little girl. I can't believe you had that big of a baby. My God. Yeah, she was my my doctor made fun of me when I went in with Tanner. He said I looked like one of those bugs that if you got if it got on its back, it wouldn't be able to roll back over. <laughs> I didn't think it was terribly funny. But, um, <laughs> yeah. What a thing for a doctor to say, my God. I think he knew he could joke with me, but, you know, it was at, it was at the time that I, I, I had lost some of my humor. <laughs> Gee, <I wonder> why. <laughs> you know, like, okay, it's not funny anymore. But she made it and didn't have Yay. the baby in the car, which was wonderful. Hey. It says Will Song. Hey, Wilson. Oh, Wilson G. That's right. That's right. Because you're Wilson Genovese. Hi, Wilson. Wilson. Hi. I can see you now. So nice of you to come in and see us. Wilson, are you getting ready for a show? Seems like you are. I can't keep all the people's, everybody's got different shows at different times. You know, it's hard to remember. Wilson's here, yay. Wilson came to the party. I think I'm going to make all of this ruffle just light blue. I need to look up and see what Aggie's got going on with hers. <laughs> I, get, I always, like, forget to look up sometimes. You no, know, I get so busy doing mine. that. So what do you think? Wouldn't she be cute in glass and resin? 
She'd be really cute in glass and resin. She'd be super cute as a as a wood cut out. <clears throat> Oops, I just smeared. I just I smeared have, red. <clears throat> I have a little smear on mine too. Trying to decide what I want to do this top halo. You all were talking about hair and perms. I got to tell you, when my dad was still alive and my mom was in the hospital, dad took me, a six year old, to get a perm. I thought my mom would lose it. <laughs> Why did your dad do that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A six year old. I can't even, like, what would, ha I can't even imagine. I, and you know what? They shouldn't have. They, they shouldn't have done it on you. That's funny, though. I would have refused. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm licensed. I, I, I've never heard of anybody that young. That's pretty funny, though. I can see like a dad thinking, I'm going to make doing Wilson's hair a little bit easier. So yeah. we'll go in and get this perm and it'll be great. <laughs> Only not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no clue, he says. Not that is hilarious. Oh my goodness. All right. I think I'm going to paint the background. What color should it be? Um, my dog has the zoomies. Who in the right minds? Yeah. I would not give a, a six-year-old a perm. But I think, oh you know, back in the back in the, the days when we were little, I don't think that there was quite the, you know, it wasn't as litigious maybe as it is now. So people just were more willing to, okay, you want it. So here you go. <clears throat> what you, did you decide on Payne's gray? I don't know. It's some kind of blue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's blue, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just going for it. That is hilarious. What, me? Yes, you're just like, I don't know what color. It's just, a, it's blue. It's all you need to know. It's blue. Oh, and Wilson has naturally curly hair. It, holy cow, girl. You must have... So when my, I have very straight hair, when my mom gave me the perm I was talking about before, and it was awful, I literally looked like Shirley Temple. It was, <laughs> it was awful. It was so curly. <clears throat> what are you doing, crazy boy? You playing with dad? Yeah, Cindy does have naturally curly hair. I'm envious of Cindy's hair. Oh, you can my. hear it, she says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
All right, shave it off. All, All right, better. send it over. Send it over. I'll pay shipping. Oh. <laughs> when can we expect it? <laughs> I mean, honestly, just the straight, straight hair just has always made me crazy. You girls, Wilson is saying she straightens hers every day. Like, no. Yeah, I, I like my hair straight, too. I curl mine every day. Well, yours looks good the way you curl it. It's just a, it's uh, so much work. Do you put product in your hair? That, that helps. Um, I really don't use a lot. Um, when I wash it, I do a little bit of a heat protector kind of thing on it yeah that's good but i was gonna say if it's a lot of work you need something to help it have some heat memory Mine yeah is quite straight today because there is no humidity yeah it's funny when there's no humidity my hair actually holds the curl a little bit better which is nice Oh, she looks really good with the blue background. I love her. Yeah, it it I think it needed the so that I could have the glow from her um coming from her head. What do they call that? Her halo. Her halo, yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of this gold in here. These Luminart paints are really, really nice. Yeah. Wilson, have you had any events yet? Um, Wilson said we have to go. Teresa said she has naturally curly hair. It looks really good in your picture, Teresa. It looks like you have like the perfect naturally curly hair. You do have beautiful hair, yes. Oh, Wilson's leaving. Okay. Hi, Wilson. <laughs> Didn't get to chat much, but I know you're probably busy. <laughs> Things to do. So we've got a few new members. That's why I went live today to talk about, you know, this Tuesday night live thing. I don't know if they saw it. What do you think? Do you like this paper? I'm still trying to decide. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> that means you don't. I don't, I don't hate it. But I do, I mean, I do feel like I really like the cold press better. Yeah. And maybe it's just because of my kind of style of painting, my 
Yeah. But it's I'm it's it so doesn't feel that different to me. It's so fun to try it. I love trying new things and seeing, you know, we, and we've always, we always talk about, you know, the, the cold press versus hot press. Mm -hmm. And everybody always has questions about which is better. I've only been ever, ever able to say, I don't know. I always use, I always use the cold press. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. I am not offended or anything. My goodness. Oh, well, I mean, I just, it's, it's so fun to be able to, to try it. It is a lot smoother. Right. My paints are getting a little dry, strangely. My paints always dry out and I have to spray them again. Now I wish I had left the wings white. Yeah, since you put the background in. But they're they're amazing. You can st you could put some gouache or some other, you know, some white back in. I think I want a layer of a cooler green on this. I wonder how that would look. <clears throat> I don't know. It might look weird. Okay. Um, so now I need to give her a glow. I need some clean water, though. <laughs> All that blue that you put in dirtied your water. What's that? All the blue you put in dirtied your water. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Okay, let's do... She's glowing. Now. I think that, that looks really good. I need to put a little bit more of a glow She's on. Glow. She's on fire. <laughs> she had a bad term. <laughs> kind of like it. I feel like maybe I need to brighten up mine a little. <laughs> she looks so cute. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I missed one tiny little detail. I didn't paint the background blue between her feet. <laughs> There's this little tiny. There's this little, right? yeah. Mm. 
Oh gosh, you made that too dark. You have to remember to send me a picture of your angel. I also need a picture of your skates and what's the uh -oh. other one? You don't have a picture of your skates? Um. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what I what I do with the skates. I don't know if I sold them or where or what the deal. Oh I don't my goodness! I'll look. I probably have a picture. You know me; I take pictures of everything. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious! I need to put it in the in the website, but I like to use our pictures. Yeah, I, that is cool seeing those. There was another one that I needed to add in. It's in my it's in my notes. I can't remember. Well, why don't you tell me these things? I know. Well, because I was trying not to bug you. Oh my goodness. I was trying not to be a bugger. Why does everybody say that? No, it, it was. Do I give the impression that I'm being no. bugged? I don't mean to. No, it wasn't that. It was just Thanksgiving and, you know. Oh, yeah. Just all the stuff. All the things. How was your Thanksgiving? I don't think I even asked to talk to you about that. No, it was it was very quiet. <laughs> it was just my mother-in-law and our youngest daughter and Jeff and I, we had entirely way too much food. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, that's par for the course. I mean, I, I made like the same amount of Turkey that I always make for when everybody's coming. So yeah. You didn't quite need that much. Kind of didn't need that much turkey, but my husband loves the way that I make the turkey, and so I always he usually ends up freezing some of that and saving it for other things later. Wow, that, that gold is like <laughs> really a cool yellow. Do you have a warm yellow? Yeah, this one, this other one that I had was better. I was just, I wasn't expecting that one to be quite as it's almost a green yellow. Oh, yeah. Barb says hi to Barb said she was coming. She was stopping in. So you tell Barb she's grounded. <laughs> she'll be she'll be upset, I'm sure. <laughs> <clears throat> All 
I really do like this pyrrole rubine. You're making me feel like I want to get that color now, but I don't really have room over in my red area. For, <laughs> yeah. For any more colors. I hear you. Oh, what did I just do? Higgins says it's seven o'clock. He's starting to look at me expectantly. <clears throat> Do you walk him? Um, I usually just take him out. We, we kind of do a little jaunt around the yard. Yeah. It's, um, since we had so much snow and they've treated the roads, I don't like to take him. Yeah. Yeah, I do a very short walk with Charlie. He'll be down here. I'm surprised he's not down here now. Doing the same thing. When are we going, Mom? Trying to clean up my little blue smudge that I have over here on the side somehow. Well, that sounds like that was um, nice that it was just a small gathering. Yeah, it really was nice. I didn't get out my fancy silverware, so it, the cleanup was pretty easy. Well, that's good. Yeah. She was telling me she was going to polish the silver mm -hmm. and all this. I'm like, are you crazy? <sighs> that's what I always do Stop it right now <laughs> it's funny how my kids are like they kind of expect it now you know they're yeah really Thanksgiving is the only time that the, the fancy silverware comes out but she didn't seem to notice so that's good <laughs> softened her face a little bit. I put a little pink on her cheeks and they were it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> Look at this this gold color. I wonder if I can you see how shiny that is. It's really a nice gold. <clears throat> She was fun. I kind of, I can't believe I got her all done, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's just filling in lines, you know, it's just coloring in. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's pretty big. She was, I don't know which size I used for her. The... I think it's easier to, to work larger like this, to be honest. That's true. I mean, those really small pieces, they're, I don't know. I'm not used to painting that small. Uh, stub my toe underneath of my desk. Just now? Yeah, like no. to see the, the whole table move. <laughs> now my camera's gonna blur out. <clears throat> I hate it when that happens. Why that? My tech husband hasn't been able to fix that problem for me. 
<laughs> I don't know what's causing it. I just think it's not designed to do what we're asking it to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, you said that before. It's just, it, it likes to do just business meetings and thanks, Liz, you're so sweet. I wanted to use this paper, so I didn't put her in the, in my little um, notebooks that I'm using for my grandchildren. So maybe I'll have to do a small one in the, in my little books. She really is, I don't know, I really am having a hard time catching the, that gold, but it really is really shiny. Thanks, Cindy. I don't think I can't see the shine on it at all. No, I tried to show on, like, on this paper. Oh, it's just, it's so hard to capture. You can, a little bit, you can see how shiny it is right there. Oh, I just see it. Yeah. So it shows up better on, on that, but yeah, it's really... It's really glittery. Thanks, Dolores. I think this is like my third cup of peppermint mocha tea today. Peppermint mocha tea? Oh, so yummy. That sounds good. Here she is flying in to bring you Christmas peace. <laughs> Christmas something. I like the little, the little flowers you did on her were, are cute. That turned what out are, cute. What would a Christmas angel bring? I don't know. Just, she, she bring peace and joy. Glad tidings. She brings glad tidings. Glad tidings. And she's rubbing her little feet together. We call feet putties. Does anybody else ever call them that? Putties. I've never heard that. They're little putties. That's so funny. <laughs> I've never well, thanks, you guys, for hanging out with us. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Linda. That was fun. What do you think? I like the background on yours. Is it one that you would paint, you guys? Let me put this back over here so you can see my face. And you can see I really am here. Hello. It's really her. She's really there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're so different. <laughs> uh, it kind of has like a German feeling. It does, yeah. Something European a little, feeling. A little Russian doll. It, I think it would be really cute in glass. It would be. It's. I don't know that it's the greatest in watercolor, but... In glass, it would it would kick ass. <laughs> she could be done in in glass, even even the watercolor. Well, yeah, she could I be. Suppose she could. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, it's Ooh. it is kind of fun to paint together and get to see, you know, two different kind of takes yeah. on the same the same design. And just hang All out, right. and chat about hair. Let's see what we're doing next week. Next week is December. Yeah, next week is December, right? It is. We're doing Christmas stockings. So it's like a, you know, like a, a stocking that would hang on the, you know, on the fireplace or whatever. So they've got. So it's, that would look really good in glass and resin too. So it's a stocking with a bow and like pine cones and greenery and all that fun stuff. That would be a very, very pretty piece to do. Hopefully my watercolor ground gets here. Maybe I'll cut that one out of wood before our live. And Which one? The stocking. <gasps> really? Wouldn't that be fun if I cut it out? Yeah. The laser is getting somewhat caught up with things so yeah yeah that's why i don't i try not to 
ask you to do too much because I know you're <laughs> catching up on orders. Get that laser, that Lucy laser, she works OT. She's she's working hard. She cut out the, the haunted mansion yesterday, which was fun to see. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been able yeah, to cut we, out We were talking about that. You guys were like, in terms of selling stuff. Oh, my hair looks all weird. Um, like, should, should I keep certain things up on my website? Yes, because somebody just bought a haunted mansion. Can you and, the, and the witchy shoes. And witchy shoes, yeah. You so, never so know cool. when people Pack are going to buy stuff. Yeah, packaged those <laughs> up and shipped them yesterday. So I'm, I've been working on the, the let it snow, trying to decide what I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple of things um, on that piece in wood. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. We'll see what happens. Are, you we know, doing, are you doing something in wood for the Santa gnome? So the Santa gnome is designed and in the, the laser software. So I'm ready to cut it out. I just need to decide what size. So if anybody has ideas on what really size they'd like to see it, I'd, I'm thinking about doing it at, at around a 11 by 14 ish. Yeah. Cause he, he I think you were saying it, he doesn't look, he looks better a little bigger. I think, right? I think so. <clears throat> yeah. I think so. And the, the let it snow piece, it has a, a snowman on it. So I think that that one's going to be, I think I'm going to offer that one an 11 by 14 and 16 by 20. Cause it just let it snow. The words are going to be cut out of wood. You haven't done a lot in 11 by 14. Mm -hmm. That maybe that would be good. Yeah. It's big, but not, not huge. You know, it's, I think, I think it's a manageable size. Even yeah. For it's not too big. <clears throat> yeah. Well, all right. Oh my goodness. It's almost seven 30. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. You guys, um, we will be back here next week. Um, same time. time. I think next week, since that's December. So we've got four designs in December. We've got the Christmas stockings on December 5th, sleepy Santa, December 12th, a wintry chickadee, December 19th and a log cabin snow globe, December 26th. So four more of these tracer classes. I don't know what we're doing next year. I don't know if we're going to continue doing. It's been a lot of work doing all these designs every week. I don't know that I could keep up that pace. Um, so you tell us what you want us to do. But um, probably next month we'll be, we're not going to have them up all week. We're just going to let you get them during the live. So you're going to have to be on your toes. I mean, we'll still announce it to the members, but you're going to need to run over there and, be ready to grab them during the live and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make you work for it. They're great freebies to, to grab. If everybody just knows you know, Tuesday night, be sure you, be sure you grab yours. I'll probably leave them up just a little bit after the, the live is, is over, but, um, yeah, because yeah, probably when you, when we're done with the live, you don't feel like going on the website and messing with it. <laughs> so that's, that's a good idea. That's a long <laughs> when you get up the next morning, you could take it down, right? Yeah. Everybody everybody that still finds it will be like, look, Shelly hasn't gotten it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly must not be up yet. <laughs> Shelly's sleeping in. Uh, okay. That was well, fun, you guys. I'm going to gonna go walk Charlie and hang out with the hubby. Yeah, I gotta so, go, go hang out with my husband too. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you guys are um, not stressing too much over the holidays. And not we will yet. see you next time. It's early. Yeah. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye bye.